Welcome to another Tech Talk brought to you by Frontier Precision. Today we'll be talking about how to merge two different point clouds within GeoSlam Hub software, and then finally how to merge those two data sets into a single file within Cloud Compare. If we open up GeoSlam Hub, we notice that we have a number of different files already processed. In my case, I know that my 1620-40 and my 1648-42 files have overlapping data. But if I open them within Cloud Compare by bringing in the LAS files, we can see that the files don't actually overlap as they should. If I turn one on and off, we can see that the skylight here should overlap one another, but does not. In this case, we can go back to GeoSlam Hub, and we can select this Merge tool. If you do not see the Merge tool, it probably means that you need to upgrade to the latest version of GeoSlam Hub, version 4.0.0. By selecting the Merge tool, it then allows us to select the number of point clouds we would like to merge. In my case, it is only two point clouds, but you can use a number of different point clouds. The process may take longer. Once we've highlighted our point clouds, we can select Start Merge. This will open up our plan view. If you notice, the plan view takes a few seconds to load. And this is because we have a few million points within each of these point clouds. In our toolbar off to the right, we have this complexity option. We can lower this to 25%, let's say, and it will display only 25% of the points and load a bit more quickly. The other options we have is to choose which scan will merge with the other one, which will be our moving cloud and which will be our rigid cloud, and they will change colors accordingly. In our case, since we don't have GPS information, it doesn't really matter which scan conforms to the other. To begin the merge process, we want to align these clouds relatively close to how they are in reality. I'm going to bump the complexity back up to 100% so you can see these two geometric shapes align here in the left hand side. Once they're relatively close, we can click Start Merge. In the lower left hand corner of GeoSlam Hub, you can see that the merge is taking place. We can watch it progress by going to our File Manager and under C, Users, your username, there will be a file called GeoSlam Processing. Under this, we can see that it has created a new underscore merge underscore results folder. And right now, there's nothing in it because it is creating the files right now. This may take a bit longer depending on how big your point clouds are. The larger the point clouds, the more time this process will take. We can open the files directly from our GeoSlam processing folder, or we can wait until GeoSlam prompts us to save these results. I'm going to wait until it prompts us so that we can save it in a specified file path. Depending on how many scans you have, this may take a few minutes. I can tell that the files are almost done because their sizes are increasing. And GeoSlam should prompt us to save the completed results very soon. So GeoSlam is now saying, where would you like me to save these results? You can click Save. Now I'm just going to put them into my documents right now and open back up Cloud Compare. Now if I look in Documents under my Merge Results folder, I see that there's two LAZ files. This is where some people get confused. Normally after a merge, people would expect to see only a single file. But if I open up both of these files within Cloud Compare, I can see that the results are now merged, but the files are still separate. If I turn one on and off, we can see that this skylight in the center here is now aligned correctly. If you want a single file with the merged results, we can highlight both of our clouds 
and click Edit, Merge. Cloud Compare will make a single file now that contains both of our point clouds. And you can see they are colorized differently so that we may verify how well the merge actually occurred. In our case, it did pretty well. This has been another Tech Talk brought to you by Frontier Precision. If you'd like more information about GeoSlam, please visit our website at www.frontierprecision.com.